Nine News now has uncovered new information on a deadly police shooting in Culpeper. An eyewitness now contradicting the police version of yesterday's confrontation in a Catholic school parking lot that ended with the death of 54 year old Patricia Cook. Peggy Fox is in Culpeper with the latest on this investigation. An eyewitness here in Culpeper is contradicting what state police are saying about the investigation and why the Culpeper police officer fired at a Sunday school teacher. Uh, he no. had his hand on the door handle, one hand here and one hand, I remember distinctly because his hands were real close together. Chris Bouchel says he saw a Culpeper Town police officer shoot 54 year old Patricia Cook to death in this church parking lot yesterday morning. Cook was in her Jeep Wrangler. State police say Cook rolled up the window, catching the officer. Officer's arm inside and then dragged him. Bouchel says it didn't happen that way. He was right next to the vehicle. He had one hand on the door handle and one hand on his weapon. And she was rolling the window up and they were exiting out of the parking lot. The window was halfway up. He said, Stop or I'll shoot. And uh, I really didn't think he was going to do it. But uh, she got the window all the way up and that's when he shot. And then she took a left out of the parking lot here. And he stepped out in the street and fired five more times. Bouchel says the officer was not dragged. He says he couldn't have had his arm caught because he fired through the glass. I'm angry. I'm frustrated. Uh, I'm sad. I'm fighting back tears right now. Cook's husband doesn't understand why an officer would shoot his unarmed wife multiple times. Personally, I think it may be an overreaction. Uh, uh, maybe excessive force, but I, that's, that's, I can only surmise that. He doesn't know why his wife was in the parking lot of the Epiphany Catholic School. Their couple's pastor at Culpeper United Methodist Church thinks she may have been there searching for a job to work with children because she loved her volunteer role teaching Sunday school here. We have to celebrate the good things and the parts that we had of Patton and not just what we've lost. Gary Cook is filled with questions along with his grief over his wife's killing. I wish I knew what was going on. I, do, I honestly do. I wish I knew what was happening. Culpeper Town Police and the County Sheriff's Department are assisting state police in the investigation. No charges have been filed, but Gary Clark is talking to an attorney about possible legal action. In Culpeper, Peggy Fox, 9 News Now. Well, thank you, Peggy. And we should note the Virginia medical examiner does have Cook's body so he can determine the exact cause of death. Virginia judge has just ruled that former Culpeper police officer will spend three years in jail for a crime that shocked the community. In January, a jury convicted Daniel Harmon Wright of manslaughter for shooting and killing an unarmed woman. But the recommended sentence of three years sparked outrage. Stephen Cheetah has a reaction to the judge's decision tonight. Stephen? Ellison, Daniel Harmon Wright pleaded for leniency. He said he is haunted every second of every day by what he did. He then apologized to the victim's family. The prosecutor then said that Harmon Wright treated Patricia Cook like a video game. Now, the judge could have reduced the jury's sentence, but instead she imposed the three years. Still, this is not going over well with folks here in Culpeper. What exactly went down during those heated moments on February 9th of last year remains a mystery, but the result led to the conviction of former Culpeper police officer Daniel Harmon Wright. The way the police officer did that, that was pretty horrible. Why? Because he killed the poor woman. I mean, he killed the lady. A jury found Harmon Wright guilty of manslaughter and unlawful shooting charges in January. On that winter morning, Harmon Wright responded to a call about a suspicious car parked in a church lot. Something apparently led to an angry exchange between Harmon Wright and 54-year-old Patricia Ann Cook. Harmon Wright maintained Cook tried to drive away with his arm caught in her window, prompting him to open fire. I think it's uh, very small and should be, I mean, why give him anything? The incident drew sharp criticism from residents of this Virginia town, some here believing manslaughter to be too mild a determination for shooting and killing an unarmed woman. The jury's recommended three-year sentence for a crime which could have drawn 25 years got angry reactions. Doesn't seem fair to me. Doesn't seem like justice was done. The jury determined that Harmon Wright will serve out his three years in jail rather than prison. Now, we tried to get reaction from Patricia Cook's family. They had no comment. However, we do know they have filed a multi-million dollar wrongful death suit. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News. Okay, thank you, Stephen.